So one of the scriptures that has really blessed me in my life so far has been from James that says you have not because you ask not. And today I really want to talk about the power of asking big and receiving big things. my channel I talk so much about becoming more living your best life earning more money and all the good stuff but there is a place of working on the mind there's a place of understanding the process that you are in and this video is kind of like a gift to that younger self that was so confused that didn't think that a lot of things were possible and everything that you want every thing that you have ever imagined is on the other side of believing and asking God for big things. One of the reasons why we struggle to ask God for big things and receive big things is that we think that most of the things that we're going to receive in life is as a result of our hard work. It's as a result of what we can do. We're always trying to figure out life for ourselves. And it doesn't make sense because one of the things that you have to realize is that you are a creation. You are a creation of God. When a creator creates a creation, there is always an intention. There's always a mindset behind that creation. God had a specific intention while creating you. There was a mystery behind your creation. There was a powerful intention behind you being made into existence. Instead of you struggling to try to figure things on your own, why not go to the creator? Faith is the beginning of everything that is possible but the other side to it is that faith without works is dead god wants you to begin to ask him to begin to do the work of asking believing and receiving big things in the season i remember one time when my son had asked me for a handkerchief and it seemed so vague because he's just five years old so i asked him what he wanted the handkerchief for and he said he wanted to use it to wipe his face while he was on the playground and it didn't make sense to me because i was just imagining my Myself as a five-year-old and I was like why would I want to clean my face while I'm on the playground like I'm playing and then I'll dab my face <laughs> I dab my face so it wasn't making any sense to me so one morning we we're having devotion and he specifically prayed oh Lord please give my mom enough money to buy a handkerchief for me and I laughed so hard that morning because I'm like why would you have to ask God for something so small? Like, let's be serious. A handkerchief is not that serious. I can't buy it tomorrow or right now, you know. And that made me start to think about how many times God must have laughed at my tiny little prayers. Instead of asking God for that big, big thing, we've been asking God for small things. You're asking God, how can I manage this addiction? How can I reduce this struggle? How can I just manage to be well enough so that I can do this? But God is saying, why don't you ask me to heal you from this? Why don't you ask me to give you the big stuff? Instead of asking God, how can my business break even so I can pay my rent? God is saying, how can you, why not ask me, how can I multiply my businesses and send them into nations? One thing you have to understand is that the mind is the battlefield. If you win in your mind, you've won in reality. Most times I sit down and I realize that most of the things that I enjoy today are answered prayers that were made in the past so begin to sow your seed right now to ask yourself what are the things that i'm asking god for now how am i limiting god through my prayers is god looking at my prayers and having a good laugh and nodding his head and saying this child doesn't really understand the things that i want for him think about those younger years where you sat down where you were open to receiving and god was giving you access to all those big things he wanted to do but now life has happened things have happened and you're starting to reduce and re reduce your destiny to what you feel that you can do there's a part of you that is asking in the sense of okay if God doesn't give me these things I will do them anyhow anyhow somebody will help me or I'll do them on my own if it's not impossible in your own sense you're not asking God for big things if you're not scared at the thought of asking that thing then you're not asking in a god capacity god wants you to stretch your faith this year it doesn't matter how many videos you watch about making more money about doing big things about starting new businesses if you don't have enough faith to put in the work it's not going to work it's not going to come into 
fruition. So how can we develop our faith? How can we start asking God for big things? How can we believe God for big things? The first thing is that you want to be specific about the things that you're asking God for. It's not that year, this is not that year where you're going to be vague about what you're asking God for. Start being intentional and being clear about the things that you're asking. The next thing is that you want to write that vision down. Write those things that you're believing God for. Write it down so that it is clear for everyone to see. You want the situation where when God takes that box, you can say, check, God has done this one. Let's move on to the next thing. The third thing I want you to do is begin to speak life into that thing. I know that the situation is looking not fantastic right now, but begin to speak life. You're going to decide what you're going to believe in and what you're going to speak life into you know um when i discovered how powerful affirmations were i felt like it was just like a cliche thing like people were just randomly talking about it but there is power in your words those things that you're casually just bringing out and saying every day have power on everything how you wake up in the morning the first things that you say the words that you speak to people they have a powerful effect on your subconscious on your mind so i want you to begin to work towards speaking life into those things and the next thing i want you to do is begin to act like you already have it that's the that's the that's the peak part of faith you want to start living your life like you're already there start acting like you have those businesses start acting like you own that house start acting like you've been delivered from whatever it is that has held you down for so long act like you already have it there's a power in that. I believe that God wants us to act so much because number one, he says it so much in his word. Even when you look at some instances where Jesus wanted to heal some people, he would ask, what do you want me to do for you? And, you know, it's, it's safe enough to ask, but you can see this man is blind. Why don't you just heal him? But God wanted to know where is your mind at? What are you believing me for? What do you feel I can do for you? Because what you ask is what you receive. So when you understand how powerful this concept is, I want you to look back at those things that you wrote, those goals, those dreams, those aspirations, and look at where you have reduced the capacity of God, where you have reduced those things that God said about you, and begin to switch them up. Begin to switch them up. Change your mindset. Change your words. Change your actions. And finally, you will change your life world i believe that god really wanted somebody to hear this today and i am sure that the moment you begin to activate your faith the moment you begin to ask god for big things that's the moment it's going to change for you thank you so much if you've watched this video up to now don't forget to share like and subscribe leave your comments let me know what you're thinking what you're believing god for and i'm sure that god is going to meet you where you are i am so blessed i'm so excited to be doing this video because ah the the, the amount of times I struggled with this, but I am so glad I finally did this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.